Guys, it's 2024 and we're back at Walt's original Magic Kingdom. We're gonna have a great time today because we are about to go look for some brand new food that just came out. This is exciting guys, we're back for the new year. We're back at Disneyland and we're back with you guys. So why don't you join us today on this Magic Journeys. Here we go. So we walked into Disneyland. I see a lot of people here today and it's probably because Magic Keys are allowed back. Today Magic Keys go on sale. So there's a lot of energy in the air. Also, walking in, I just felt all that warmth and magic again. Seeing all the Disney vehicles, seeing everything Disney around me, it feels great. And now we're in 2024. There's all new foods. We have to go find them because they're all over the park. And we want you guys to come along and check them all out. So come on, let's go, there's a lot. Guys, we're here at the Jolly Holiday. I miss the aroma in here. It smells fantastic. They have so many great pastries right now, and we're gonna show you all the new ones that just came out. Look at all these. These are all the new ones, guys. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. I know. There was uh, two other ones that we already had, like this little, another little tart, little brownie that we already had last year, so we're trying the new stuff today. It looks like the sun keeps going in and out, huh? Yeah, it keeps coming and going. <laughs> it's going, bye, <laughs> Never mind. I'm here. No, nope, I'm gone. But anyways, <laughs> here at Jolly Holiday, they have the cherry vanilla macaron. Look at this, you guys. Look how pretty that looks. And it's cherry filled with vanilla cream inside. So here we go. Mm. Sounds good. Now this is a very cherry forward treat. Now it does taste a little bit artificial, but not too much. It kind of reminds me of the Black Forest ice cream that they sell at Rite Aid. It's good, but it's not my favorite. I say skip this one and go for like the raspberry one that they do sell inside Jolly Holiday because that one is really, really, it's not bad. It's not my favorite though. I would just go skip this one and go for the raspberry one that they Ooh, sell there. Is that the Mickey Mouse one? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that one's good. And it's good. Mickey shaped. <laughs> it feels so good to be back. Now we did try to film an episode maybe like a week ago. But on the day we're supposed to film, I felt like excruciating pain on my gum. It's a little swollen right now. So I made a quick little visit to the dentist and I got a tooth infection, you guys. To the point where I had to pull out the tooth. So it is a little swollen, but when I first got there, you guys, it was like like a chipmunk. Like I felt like Chippendale's sister, long last sister. Now the dentist did tell me that it's okay to start eating solid foods after two to three days. Now it's been about three days, but after eating that macaron, it's something just, it, didn't feel good so I think I'm gonna not eat today and just let it off to Miguel and Miguel did offer to come here today and do it all himself but I was like no don't leave me behind so I'm gonna just follow him and I'll still be in the video obviously but yeah I just thought I'd let you guys know but if you have any suggestions how I can bring the swelling down leave it in the comments below because I need all the help I can get right now I'm sorry Janelle Okay. I did offer today uh, to come and film just me by myself and just did, leave Janelle at home so she can rest. But yeah, he did. He was like, "Stay home." Like He's like, literally, <laughs> like, "Stay home. I'll cook you some soup and all that stuff." And I said, "No, no, I don't care if I look like a chip bug. I'm going." <laughs> you look cute. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, I'm all like, today it looks like I'm gonna have to do a lot of the foods. Yeah. So that's cool. I'm I'm very excited about that. Janelle says she might want to do the drinks, right? I think the drinks will be fine because they're like, you know, drinks. Okay. But I think the solids are, I think what pays me the most is that you get to uh, I know, I get to try treat. the foods. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but I'm sure you'll be back on your feet soon. I will, I better, because literally the year is coming up and I don't want to miss that. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, take a look at this. So this is the strawberry stuffed croissant, wow! And right over here, you're gonna have some powdered sugar. On the inside, you're gonna have some vanilla cream. Let's take a bite of this. Ooh. Now this one here is $7.99. And it's supposed to be in a nice flaky croissant. So let's see if that's true. Mmm. <laughs> I've got one of the strawberries. <laughs> How's it? <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> really? Oh, mm -hmm. I'm so jealous. Mmm. This was pretty tasty. I'll tell you what. The croissant is flaky. It's got a nice taste. And then the vanilla cream, there's a lot in there. Also the strawberries, that little bit of freshness. It's not bad. It's $8 though, but it is pretty good. And I would probably say get this over the macaron because that is also $8, it's very small. I think this is a little more filling. You get some strawberries, some cream, powdered sugar. This is the way to go. All right, so right here we have the lemon meringue eclair. It's very pretty, look at that. 
Wow, this is filled with lemon chiffon topped with a ribbon of toasted meringue and a white daisy chocolate decoration. All right, so let's try this out here. <laughs> looks really good. I know, right? And I like so the little daisy right there. I know, I like how it's like a little bit of brulee on top. I know, fancy. Oh, it's very lemony. So I'm telling you right now, this is very tart on the inside. It's custardy. And I do love the cream on the outside. It's just very vanilla tasting. But it's not bad. It's very sweet. It's a great pastry. And if you want to try it out for yourself, get it at Jolly Holiday. All right, so this is another treat from the Jolly Holiday. Take a look at this. Now this is a s'mores tart. And as you guys can see, there's a graham cracker crust. Oh. There's chocolate ganache. Oh. And on top, you have a marshmallow that's been nice and toasted. Oh my god! I'm so excited so, for this. I've never been so jealous in my entire life <laughs> until today. You'll How feel better you? soon. 100% oh no, you will. I can't wait to try. Oh. <laughs> what happened? It's so big. I feel like Jolly Holiday is where it's at. This is a winner. That's a winner. Yeah. After all the pastries I tried today. Really? That's a winner. The chocolate ganache is so rich. Ooh. And I love the marshmallow. But the graham cracker adds that extra crunch Texture. to this, yeah, to this little custard in the middle. This is a great one. If you're going to Jolly Holiday, I recommend. Out of all the treats, you try this. Mm. Very, very good. <laughs> wow. We got golden hour right now. So when it's golden hour, you're here at Disneyland, you just gotta take out your camera and start taking a bunch of pictures because this is the best time to take photos. Now, if you guys are here at Disneyland, yeah. You should have to take this moment and enjoy these treats because you know I don't like to share it. I know, I know. That's why I'm enjoying as much as I can. That's what I get for not sharing this whole time. She wants to try the ganache. I do. That's the ganache I'm telling you they should put back on the Darts by Chocolate. They definitely have to put the ganache back on the Darts by Chocolate. Yes. Disney, come on. I'm all sorry, I'm picking at it. Now I can't stop. Oh no. <laughs> That was good. Now we're going to Tomorrowland to Galactic Girl, but first, look at Astro Orbiter. Guys, it's gone. It's going to be refurbished and it won't be back up until winter of 2024. I know. Aye. Well, <laughs> one thing I liked about the Astro Orbiter is that it added a lot of kinetic energy here, a lot of kinetic motion, which is something Tomorrowland is lacking. And uh, it was the one thing that did it. So right now it is gone. Tomorrowland doesn't have that life that it should. And uh, even before that, I think it didn't have that life. Tomorrowland definitely needs some love. D23, D23 is this year in August, I think. So hopefully they'll announce some good stuff for Tomorrowland because Tomorrowland needs some love. It needs some love. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think Tomorrowland needs? If you were an Imagineer yourself and you were going to work on this land, what do you think Disneyland's Tomorrowland needs? Let me know in the comments below. I think it needs more neon. More neon? Like, I want this place to glow. All right. You know what I mean? That's like, glow, cool. right? More yeah, neon, more idea. glow. We need some light here, right? It's true. I agree. I want this place to be like Vegas. You know how the Luxor, they have that bright light? <laughs> I want it to shine. Like that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That actually sounds like a great idea. I think what we need also is like some energy here. Oh, hi. <laughs> We need some kinetic energy. We need movement here. Uh, and maybe that would be a solution to that. Or maybe a new attraction. I don't know. But it definitely needs something. And next, of course, we're here in Tomorrowland. We're going to the Galactic Grill because they have a drink. They do. They have two new drinks. Ooh. <laughs> they also have the, uh, what was that parfait called? The Galactic Parfait. Now, we did have that like about two years ago, and it's back. I did like it, however, it does turn your mouth blue, so be prepared. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that one time we ate it and both our teeth were completely blue. But it was worth it, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, got our food at the Galactic Grill. All right, so over here at the Galactic Grill, we have the Meteorite Medley Burger. Look at that, look at all the pretty colors on I here. Know. Now this is gonna be an Angus beef and vegetable patty with spiced bacon, smoky chimichurri, relish, avocado mayo, avarti, and crispy peppers on a toasted brioche bun. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so usually when we come to the Galactic Grill, we try their burgers and sometimes they can be hit or miss. I'm hoping this is good because it does look very nice. They put a lot in here. There's a beautiful relish in there and crispy onions. I can't wait to try this. And we also have a spicy bacon. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. So I thought for a second these were crispy onions, but they're actually crispy peppers. It's got a little bit of a kick, not much. I'd probably say from like one to 10, it's like a one. But this is a very flavorful burger. I do love 
the avocado mayo that really stands out and the onions add a little bit of sweetness and that bacon smokiness i do like this the patty's a little dry that's always a problem here at the uh the galactic grill but flavor wise this is this is pretty good it's not bad i'd definitely come back for it again and then of course you also get fries you yeah, can choose okay. either to get fries yeah. or fruit but uh i like fries <laughs> so i got fries but uh if you were to come to galactic grill i think this is a burger i would recommend try it for yourself and let me know what you think but the patty unfortunately yeah still a little dry which is always a downside the brioche bun is delicious everything on here is good but it's always the patties i just hope one day they, they come out and they, they have some great patties because that's the biggest downside of the galactic grill they usually stay under warmers so they get a little dry but flavor wise it's pretty good all right me and you have to switch spots because the, sun, the is, sun is really sun bright is on this side mm -hmm. <laughs> all right there you go lighting is perfect so over galactic grill they have this starlight tower tea but look how cute that is isn't that cute nice. it kind of looks like a galaxy in a cup yeah right <laughs> it definitely does right so butterfly tea with sweet um tower cream on top and some blueberry spears let's mix it here we go i don't want to drink it it's too pretty but i feel like once you mix it it'll look really really nice ready there we go mixing it up mixing it up so now it's kind of turning into like a pink color science <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh. It kind of tastes like like Fruit Loops. Oh wow! Like, like the milk of Fruit Loops or like, like the actual Fruit Loops? Like the cereal Fruit Loops. What? I'm not even kidding. It tastes like Fruit Loops, like <laughs> straight up from the box, blended in there. I try love it. it. All right, let me try give it. it a little try. Let's see. It tastes like Fruit Loops. You're right. <laughs> it tastes like Fruit Loops with a side of taro. Right. That's what it tastes like. This is. It's this good, is pretty but good. I feel like it's good, but I feel like I'll be over it after like six sips. Because it's very sweet. Because it's very sweet. But yeah, it tastes just like Fruit Loops. <laughs> now this other drink that I have in my hand that you can get at Galactic Grill also is the Blackberry Sky Splash. It has the blackberry limeade, cucumbers, little bit of blackberries on top. I think this one will be really refreshing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's like tart, but I like it. <laughs> it's like a little sweet, but mostly tart. Oh wow. I want to get this one and then that one. This one's cute for like pictures and all that, but this one's for the taste. Yeah, this is, is it refreshing? This is quite more refreshing. It's like tasting like a sweet, refreshing cucumber mm. with like the tartness of the blackberry it's like I'm sweet all about the refreshing drink it's so good <laughs> mm. it's like a limeade it's so yummy so get this one but if you want the cute little pictures get this one but i recommend this one at night i heard they have some new projections over space mountain i haven't seen them yet but i want to pass by over at night to see them because i heard they're really cool if you guys have seen them let me know what you guys think but yeah it's gonna look really cool Ready? I think so. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I, I got this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is definitely a lot easier when I'm eating all the food. Which <laughs> <laughs> I bet. But we did take some home with us in our Ziploc bags that are lounge flies. Yeah. So. so we got some to yeah. take home. All right, so we're waiting for our pasta. We got like some, uh, it was a ricotta. Yeah, it was a ricotta something, ricotta something, something. something. <laughs> yeah. And that's how you order it. You just go ricotta something, something, something. Something, something. It's about to come soon. You guys are going to see it. All right, we got it. There it is. All right, so this is the Nebula Swirled Ricotta Pasta, and this is gonna have a wilted spinach chimichurri spice ricotta and chef's choice of pasta in a blush bolognese sauce. That looks pretty good, I'll tell you that. Look at all the bolognese and the ricotta on top, that looks very tasty, guys. Um, I always like to add like crushed peppers to my pasta. I'll probably do that a little bit later, but uh, I also have some Parmesan cheese that I might add to it a little later as well, so let's mix this up. Get a little bit of everything here. That's really good. Doesn't it? There's some spinach, some ricotta. Okay, let's try this out. Oh, that's a big bite. Here we go. 
I really enjoy this pasta here. I love the tomato. It's got a nice acidity, a nice robust, rich flavor. And then you do have some beef in the bolognese that's very flavorful as well. The ricotta is great. Um, perfectly al dente. This is a nice pasta. I think my favorite one still here is the chicken fusilli. To me, that's gonna be the ultimate pasta they have here. The pizza needs work, we all know that. But the pastas here, they really hit a home run with this one. They also did it with the chicken fusilli, and I think every time they have pastas here, they're really good. Yeah. They just, they have to work on the pizza. There's some places that I love going to to get some pasta. I love coming here. I love going to the Plaza Inn. And one of my favorite places to get pasta is probably gonna be over to California Adventure at the Pizza Boardwalk and Pasta. I think they have the best. But where would you get it if you were gonna come here to design? What's your favorite place to get pasta? Let me know in the comments below. So we're both very excited to head over to Tiana's Bayou and see what's going on over there. I know there's a lot of construction going on for the attraction. We're gonna go see it for ourselves. So let's go over there and check it out. He's totally just chilling here. He's like, yeah, this is life. It's great. Which one's you? That one over there, all zoned out. <laughs> that one over there? Oh. And this is cleaning her, that, that one's me actually. The one cleaning her feathers. This one here? That one's Janelle. <laughs> That's your spirit duck. That is. Look at this guys, 45 minutes for Pirates of the Caribbean. Wow, that's a huge line. Who's Jack Sparrow? Oh, there he is. So right now there's a 45 minute wait to Pirates of the Caribbean. That's pretty wild. And eventually they're gonna start adding Genie Plus, I believe on January 22nd. It's only temporary, but man, once they do that, I think it's gonna get even more wild. So yeah. I don't know. I feel like New Orleans, especially this area next to Haunted Mansion and Tiana's Palace, it's gonna mm -hmm. get kind of congested because there's gonna be a lot of construction going on. Yeah. So maybe, yeah. Let I'm us know what your opinions <laughs> are about that in the comments below. We definitely want to know. There's going to be a lot of congestion here in New Orleans Square. First, starting off with Haunted Mansion. They're going to have to bring that down and bring the normal Haunted Mansion and not the Nightmare Before Christmas. And they also have the new queue line that they announced. You remember yeah, that? Yeah, right back there. Yeah, the then wall's then, already up. And then the fountain's going to go away. And then what else am I missing? Oh yeah, Tiana's Bayou Adventure is going to get started. So it's going to be a very busy area so plan accordingly when you come visit Disneyland because there's gonna be a lot of happening over here yeah <laughs> so there is a lot of progression going on here at Tiana's Bayou Adventure I'm really excited for it right now as you guys can see they just added the water tower and it looks so cool now we did see that over in Orlando but now we have it here at Disneyland so that's very exciting they're shaping <laughs> up the mountain everyone's like excited and we can't wait I think we're gonna have to get on I'm gonna oh, have to yes. get on. I'm just gonna have to do it. Yeah, just do get it. Get on. I don't and really then, like water rides. A lot listen, of people know that. Listen, but still. listen. <laughs> Raincoat, some rain boots, and you're good to go. I think so. A poncho. You know, there you go. <laughs> it's gonna have to be done <laughs> because I, I do want to see it inside. It looks really cool from the pictures, the concept art. Right. I'm really excited. I want to see it. Me yeah. too. Really nice looking up into the sky and seeing these cotton candy looking clouds with cotton candy colored skies. It's very pretty and it adds a lot of magical ambience around Disneyland. Okay, so next we're gonna get some beignets over at the Mint Julep Bar. Guys, it's kind of crowded today. We're gonna it head is. over there. We're in Adventureland right now. But there's just so many people. <laughs> this is insane. I don't know if you can hear the crows, but the crows are crowing right now. Oh yeah, look. Oh no. Just cover your head. <laughs> That's, that's true. Yeah, you don't want to get uh, yeah, you don't want to get crowed on. <laughs> so we have to kind of hurry because yeah. we did do a mobile order, and we it says did. we only have five minutes left to pick up this meal. I don't want so. them to cancel it because I want some of these beignets. Well, for you, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to hurry up. You think we'll make it in five minutes? Come on. There's still a lot of. Oh no. So we did not make no. it. <laughs> <laughs> but it did let you change the time. The arrival window. So instead of being five o'clock, we got it for five fifty-five. Yeah. So just an hour wait. So in the meantime, Janelle says she wanted to get some soup. Yes, I'm kind of, kind of hungry. <laughs> now this is perfect because we're heading over to the Harbor Galley. They have some tasty soups, but right now they have these new cookies that just came out, and we kind of want to try them. I know they kind of remind me of like Mrs. Fields cookies, the ones that you get at the mall. Oh yeah. They look so <laughs> yummy. 
Now, also, if you guys do like these videos, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps us out in the algorithm. And also, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. We got some great content coming up this year. Oh, kids getting out of line because they found out there's no more cookies. The cookies are out of stock. I want the cookies, but what I mostly want is the soup because I'm hungry. So they have the cookies right there. If you want to see the price, there it is, the chocolate chip cookies. They have the six pack for $6.49 and the 13 pack for $12.49. So if you want to get yourself some cookies, especially on a cold night, those are going to be awesome because they're gonna, I'm pretty sure they're going to be warm and gooey. So we got a double womp womp. Womp womp. Womp womp. <laughs> they're out of the chocolate chip cookies first and they're out of my favorite soup, the broccoli cheddar. Well, they said they replaced it. They don't have them anymore. I know. Like, who's, whose decision was that? I need to talk to them right now. <laughs> the broccoli cheddar cheese Yeah, that was so good. With oh, a little no. bit like Tabasco sauce. Ooh, so good. They still have the clam chowder though. They do, but come on. I know. Oh. So we decided to come to Tiana's Palace. And I got myself the shrimp and grits. It's delicious. I'm so excited. Also, when we're done, our beignets should be ready. So it's like perfect. Yeah, it it's was... right here. The mint julep bar is right there. Yeah. Let's go grab them and come back and sit down. Mmm. <laughs> so good. So over at the mint julep bar, they have great beignets <laughs> and then they have green icing and they call it make it Mardi Gras. Look how pretty. Look at that. It's just really regular icing. <laughs> but hey, anything to make it fun, right? Yeah, well, it looks very Nickelodeon. <laughs> Is it like Nickelodeon slime. slime orange? It's orange, right? I don't remember. Oh my gosh. Mandela effect, I don't know. Oh no. Is it orange or green? I, I thought it was blue. I think they blasted green on like... Slime! Yeah, the slime is blasted green yeah. during like the award shows. Yeah. But I think their logo is orange. There it is. Yeah, that's where it is. <laughs> so I insisted to shake the beignets for him. So here we go. <laughs> like literally, I went, let me shake them. <laughs> shake the beignets. They don't call me a pro beignet shaker for nothing. <laughs> there you go. And they're grape flavored. Let me see. Mmm. It's almost tempting. Wow, look at that. A grape flavored beignet. Let's try it out. It smells like grape. Let's try out the grape beignet. What the heck? <laughs> what? It tastes like a grape blow pop. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, because I had a little bit of the sugar when I grabbed it, and it kind of reminded me of a pixie stick, too. Okay. It's weird, but I kind of like it. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. You have to try these out for yourself. I, I don't know. I feel like it's something that I would probably skip and maybe not get again but i think these are kind of fun they're kind of like right? a grower you know what i mean like it grows on you yeah here look let's try it with some of this now it's a party here with we the, go with the slime <laughs> <laughs> these are <laughs> these are weird i feel like some people are gonna like these and there's gonna be a lot of people who are not gonna even come close to liking these but they're weird they kind of taste like a great blow pop i'm not a big fan of the frosting i feel like it's kind of low grade Buttercream frosting, like it doesn't taste like anything. It just yeah, tastes it like like sugar. Very artificial. Very sugary, artificial. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a fan of this. Kind of like these. I don't know if I'm a big fan of them, but I like them. And I know a lot of people who try these are gonna be like, these are too weird. No, bring me a, a batch of regular beignets. <laughs> but uh, overall, these are fun. I'm pretty sure if you got this for the kids, they're gonna love it. So I have a little bit of the powder. It kind of reminds me of pixie sticks. Yeah, very similar to that. Right? Yeah, remember like the 80s? grape flavored one. Yeah, remember in 80s night that had like these bubblegum ones? Yeah. It gives you that vibe. <laughs> I'd probably get them again just to around with a friend and be like, what do you think? What do you think? They're weird and they're fun to eat, I think. Yeah, they definitely are. <laughs> there is definitely a lot of energy here today and it's very happy and very positive. A lot of people are having a great time and it makes me so happy to be a part of it, being here with everyone. And look, the tree! We still haven't been on it. We have to get back on that tree. That's awesome. It looks great at night. Now, there's a lot of other new foods that we want to check out, but Miguel's already full and he tapped out. And for me, obviously you already know, but that just means I get to come back. So hopefully by the time I come back, I'm able to eat those delicious treats and foods that Miguel tried and even more new food. So yeah, for now, I'm going to look at the little happy chipmunk.
<laughs> it's great coming back to Disneyland and seeing all these people here. We're all having a good time. And I hope you guys got some great ideas of what to try the next time you're here at Disneyland. Now, we are gonna come back and try even more foods, but uh, I just want you to get better. I, know. I just don't wanna miss today. I miss Disney and I miss being here with you. I know, I'm just glad we're here together, babe, and we're having a good time, guys. <laughs> And we just want to thank you guys for watching our videos. It's 2024. We're going to bring you a lot of great adventures. I just want to say we love you guys. Thank you for and watching we're back. us. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> and uh, thank you for watching. We're going to see you guys here next time on Magic Journeys. Bye.